Over the course of the year, I've been carrying out an experimental investigation on the characteristics of natural fibre and mortar reinforcing. This project was designed and developed to test the physical strength properties of fibre reinforced mortar to either act as a substitute for synthetic fibres or to find new uses in the future of building materials. The fibres tested were a granular common flax and jute fibres. The current issue the construction industry is facing is the lack of environmentally considerate products. The current products used are effective but can be extremely harmful to the environment and any environmental conscious options are scarce supply. The goal of this project was to find through experimentation samples with improved properties over a standard mortar sample mixture through the method of trialing varying percentage amounts of two different fibers. The mixing process had to be developed in batches to create a wide range of testing options, a variety of fiber amounts ranging from 0.25% to 2.5% for both a, both a pulp flax fiber and jute fiber. A control batch was developed for a comparison of results. This allowed for a total of 100 samples. The molds used were made from a cut PVC pipe with dimensions of 100 millimeter height and 50 millimeter diameter. The second phase of development had to have the samples cured in a water bath until the testing period. This allows for the cement to maximize its strength capacity. To test the samples, four different tests were completed at intervals of seven days and 28 days in order to cover a wide base of properties. Mechanical tests completed were a compression test and splitting tensile test. This involves the breaking of samples under an increased, increasing load and in the vertical direction and horizontal direction. A workability test was conducted to, to determine how the material would be able to be used and whether or not the adding of fibers would alter its usability. This was conducted while the mixture was still wet. A water absorption test was carried out over a period of three days. This involved the samples being dried separately and not water cured. The samples are then placed in a small amount of water. The dried mortar mix will then absorb the water. This was measured at regular intervals. Environmental factors. Reduction in concrete use reduces CO2 by 17 kgs per tonne of concrete at 2.5% fiber. This product will promote plant growth. It also reduces the production of synthetic fibers, reducing non-biodegradable materials. The sample showed improvements in almost all tests to that of the control sample, with the exemption of the splitting tensile test. The test showed that high fiber amounts decreased the properties but a low percentage, such as those in 0.25% to 1% range, increased the properties by a noticeable amount. The flax fiber produced a greater strength property at 28 days, and the jute fiber produced better short-term properties. From broken samples, it was clear to see that the fracture of those with fiber were less severe to that of the control. The control was seen to fully break in two, whereas fibers remained intact with little observable damage.